Hey, what's going on, Internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So we're going to talk about doing motion graphics right here inside of Premiere. Typically, I do After Effects tutorials, and I show how to do motion graphics with After Effects. But there's some things in here that can be done uh, very easily right here inside of Premiere without having to go to After Effects, so you can save a lot of time. Or if you're not into After Effects, you can do some very basic motion graphic work here. So we're going to be looking at text behind objects, how to apply motion blur, uh, how to put video within text, and we're going to talk about doing a nice typography design. So to do the text behind the object is very easy to do. So I'll start from here from scratch. And right here, I got a video clip. And what I want to do is I want to duplicate this layer. So I can hold down Alt on my keyboard and click and drag this layer up. And it will create a duplicated um, layer here, right? Now I want to bring in a title. And if you've never created a title before, go up to File, New, Legacy Title. And then you can type out your title. And then you can bring it right in from your project. And here we are, we can bring it right on top. So as you can see, the title is not going to be behind our lovely model here in the video. So what we want to do is obviously bring this text layer underneath the uh, duplicated uh, video layer and we'll double click the video layer here, go to effects controls and we'll click on this pen icon, which is right here uh, underneath opacity. And basically what we're going to do from here is we're going to create a mask around our uh, subject here. And as you see, I'm kind of just cutting along the edges of uh, our subject here where the text is going to be. And then we go here and close that up. And now we can see that our text is going to be behind our model. And as you see, we can fly right through here and our text is right there. Now, uh, you, you're going to have to actually sometimes a video, you're going to have to go frame by frame and keyframe this. So you, all you have to do here is go to the mask path, add a keyframe for mask path, and go forward by you know, one frame or two frames, and then you might have to make adjustments to this mask by clicking the vertices and bring it in along the edges. But this would be a very easy way to make some, uh, you know, quick changes in here, depending on what you're trying to do here. Maybe it's a static object. So just keep that in mind. You might have to, uh, you know, keyframe the mask. And of course, you can mess with the mask feather, which, you know, if you're not doing like a tight job, you can increase the mask feather and it'll blend in there very nicely. So that's one way how you can put you know text or any type of object behind any subject or object in your video. Now let's move on to uh, animation, motion blur, right? So with Premiere, with regular um, uh, animation, it doesn't come with motion blur. So you might have to add that manually. So I'll go ahead and give you an example real fast. So we add a keyframe for position and we do a quick position animation here. As you can see, there's just no motion blur at all, right? You don't see any motion blur, so that's a problem. So what we're going to do is, for this, we're going to go to the effects window over here, or go up to window effects, and we're going to type in transform, and we're going to bring that effect into here, and now we'll do our animation inside of this effect, so we'll add a keyframe for position, and move that frame forward in time, and then we'll do a position X outside here, and once again, we still won't have that, um, you know, motion blur that we're talking about, but we go to the shutter angle here and we type in 180 and we go ahead and check off use composition shutter angle. You'll see that we have uh, motion blur. So now you can do animation with motion blur very easily. Now let's do video within text. Now this was a tutorial I have done in the past for After Effects uh, and this also can work great with double exposure effects, but we're just going to do something very simple here, video within text. So what we're going to do is we have our text and we have our video. Then I'm going to go to the effects window over here and I'm going to type in track matte key, which is under the key and folder. And we're going to bring this to our video layer. And then with our effect right in here, they want to go to matte and we're going to set this to video two. And now our video is within our text. And, you know, that's really cool, right? So now we have got gotten that done. Let's move on to the last tip here and just designing very clean titles right here inside of After Effects. And this could be lower thirds uh, or just very nice title cards. And basically from here, you'll see that we'll have a nice little animation in here with our text. And I'm going to show you quickly how you can do that, how you can create a nice subtle background here. So go ahead and just delete everything in here. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to this uh, new item icon or you go up to File, New, and you can click on uh, Color Matte. And we'll click OK. And make sure to set it black or any other color, color that you would like. Click OK. And we'll just call it background. Click OK. 
So I'll come here and bring this on top of our video, and you can see it's one black solid, right? That's not good, uh, especially if we, if we want to composite this over video, which is what I'm trying to get across here. So we'll go ahead and go to the opacity, turn off the keyframe there, lower the opacity down to like, you know, 60%, and of course you can adjust it a little bit lower, lower end. I'm gonna do a full title card right here, but let's say if you want to do like a lower third, you could just click, uh, check off the uniform scale and decrease the uh, scale height, and you can always, you know, bring this down and create yourself a nice lower third, um, and of course mess with the width and do what you have to do. So it's a very easy way that you can just, you know, manipulate this uh, solid layer to do what you want. But from here, I want to go ahead and create a new uh, title. And we'll click OK, and we'll open up this uh, huge title editor. So the big thing when you're doing this is you want to make sure the text is you know readable, and if you have like a main title and subtitle, you want to be able to uh, you know be able to design that correctly, right? So you want to make it you know have contrast. So here we have you know a main title and a subtitle, and what we want to do here is we want to make sure the main title and the subtitle have that contrast. So the main title is going to be a little bit bigger. And most importantly, I'm going to use a different uh, typeface. I'm going to use Gotham, uh, which is one, probably one of the most used typefaces today, but it's very common and very easy to work with. So uh, we have this entire, you know, family here, and I'm going to make the first title a bold font, and I'm going to make the subtitle a light font. Right. So obviously there's some contrast here, but uh, it's not good. Right. So we have to take this even further and we'll take the subtitle and we'll make the font size even smaller right here on the left side or right side here. And we'll go ahead and set this up at the top. And, you know, this is cool. Maybe we can even make the main title uh, expand a little bit more so we can increase the tracking of this. And maybe we'll actually increase the tracking of this as well. So we'll even increase the footprint of uh, the title here. Cool. And then, of course, maybe I'll increase the leading by a touch so there's just a little bit more separation between this. And then we'll go here to the align area, click on the center tabs, and make sure this is in the center of our uh, project here, right? So now we can come here, bring in our title, and there we have it. And now we can animate this in. And then if we want to animate this, once again, we can use the transform effect and do our animation. And also a quick tip about the keyframes here. So just like After Effects, uh, what we can do is we can make the keyframes, you know, by right clicking them, go to temporal interpolation and we can click on Bezier and we're going to have a nice uh, smooth slow down towards the end of the animation. And of course, let's make sure to turn on the motion blur. And with motion blur, it looks nice. So that's how you can do a nice title animation inside of Adobe Premiere. So I hope you guys found this video insightful. There will be a test on this next week, so come prepared. Just kidding, we're not in school here. But if you guys did enjoy the video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this, and please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video. And as always, I hope you have a good day.